welcome to today's show. On today's show, we're going to learn about George Washington Carver. Hmm, who in the world is George Washington Carver and why do I see nuts everywhere? George Washington Carver was an African-American pioneer, an exceptional human being. He was a humanitarian, a scientist, a chemist, a botanist, an agronomist, an inventor, a teacher, a researcher, a painter, and an illustrator. George Washington Carver became a renowned scientist when he focused on his innovations and inventions pertaining to the plants that he so loved. Now, let's focus on the sweet potato. These are some of the innovations and inventions that he came up with. Vinegar, molasses, ink, synthetic rubber, the postage stamp, and glue. It was George Washington Carver's discovery that legumes like peanuts could be planted for their replenishing nutrients and harvested for their superior oils, their richness in protein, and over 300 byproducts that include peanut butter, shampoo, coffee, and face powder. More innovations and inventions that came from George Washington Carver based on the peanut include milk, flour, ink, dyes, plastics, wood stains, soap, linoleum, which is like a floor covering, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. George Washington Carver utilized the peanut to create axle grease, wallboards, insulation, insecticides, charcoal, and antiseptics. We can utilize a timeline to keep track of the events that occurred in the life of George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver was born on a farm near Diamond, Missouri in Newton County in about the year of 1865. Historians aren't exactly sure when he was born, but 1865 seems to be the best guess. By the late 1880s, George Washington Carver moved to Winterset, Iowa. Carver earned his bachelor's degree in 1894 and a graduate degree in 1896. In the same year, George Washington Carver left Iowa to take a job with renowned African-American pioneer Booker T. Washington at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. As Carver worked tirelessly in his laboratory from 1900 to 1920, his fame grew. During the 1920s and 1930s, George Washington Carver traveled throughout the South delivering his message of racial harmony. George Washington Carver drew more public attention during the mid-1930s. This was when the polio virus struck in the United States of America. George Washington Carver's reputation also grew larger during the 1930s. This was because of the Great Depression. George Washington Carver died on January the 5th of 1943 at Tuskegee Institute. In the same year, President Franklin D. Roosevelt dedicated funds to erect or build a monument at Diamond, Missouri in his honor. United States postage stamps honoring George Washington Carver were issued in 1948. A George Washington Carver half dollar coin was minted between the years of 1951 and 1954. United States postage stamps honoring George Washington Carver were issued again in 1998. Well, that was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to check out our Teachers Pay Teachers store. Follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and check out our Pinterest page. Hop on over to our YouTube channel where you can check out many exciting videos like the one that you've just seen. Check out our blog at www.bowtieguyandwife.com.